Good morning, Muscle Monday. All right, here's today's lineup. Uh, we're gonna do two 13 minute blocks. So I've got a series of five moves, kind of called like a giant set. Um, we've been doing supersets of just two moves, but this is five moves and we're just gonna cycle through them till the timer runs out in 13 minutes. We'll take a little break um, and we can pause, you know, take a break whenever you need to, but I plugged in a break for that. And then we'll do another 13 minute block, just moving through some moves. So we're gonna hit everything. Um, we're gonna do some arms, some triceps, some legs and core. So let's just start with, um, let's just get warmed up for a couple minutes. So I'm gonna start at the back of my mat into some inchworms and just walk out into a plank. And then I'm gonna walk it back. Now you can bend your knees if you need to and stand all the way up or you can keep your legs straight. So let's just do about five of these. Get a little movement in the legs and the arms. Nothing like Christmas goodies and indulgent meals to just make your body feel like a garbage can. Oh my gosh, I'm so sluggish. All right, so take it out. We're gonna come into a runner's lunge. So you're gonna bring this um, left elbow down by your left knee and just raise it up, and down. Just get some opening in the hips and the core. All right, good. Bring it up, switch legs, down into that runner's lunge. You can always drop, drop to your knee also, or you can leave it popped up. Just do about five or six right here. It's like when you have excessive carbohydrates, all the sugar and the fat and the butter. All right, switch legs, we'll do one more round. Just all the excessive stuff that maybe you're not totally used to. And then you slack on your water a little bit. Like that is just the worst combination. You just feel like sludge. Ugh. All right, switch legs, last set. Get those hip flexors warmed up, shoulders. Last one here. All right, bring it up. Let's just come down into kind of a low squat. Just open up your, you come all the way down and put your hands down and kind of go side to side. Just get a little stretch in the legs. All right, so first 13 minute block, we're gonna do 10 jump squats. Now you can take the hop out, which will just be a squat kind of fast, or you come down to a squat, then you hop up. So this is a jump squat. I barely come off the balls of my feet. It's just a light little hop. So we'll do 10 of those, 10 push-ups on your knees or toes, whatever your preference is, uh, 15 bicep curls, 20 bear kicks, the bear kicks are when you're down here on all fours, you just kind of lift your knees and kick one foot back. So we'll do 20 of those, 15 donkey kicks. So just follow along. Those are the five moves. We're just gonna work through them. Take a break, get a drink whenever you need to. This is your workout too. So, and Christmas sledge in the body still. I might, I might need a more of a break too. All right, so we're gonna start with the jump squats. Got the timer going. We're gonna come down to the squat. 10, nine, good. Let's do some push ups. First ones of the morning. All right, so I turn my hands out slightly. I roll my shoulder blades down and back. 
So my elbows are right underneath my shoulders. I will be doing these from my knees at some point. I know it. I know what my capacity is for push-ups, and it's not a lot. And I do them slow. All right, that was 10. All right, let's do some bicep curls. So grab whatever weights you have. We're gonna alternate. So this is one, two, Elbows are in at your side, no swaying. I think this is 12. See, I start thinking and then I lose count. <laughs> I think 14 here. All right, drop toes. Let's do some bear kicks and donkey kicks. Get down on your mat. Now, if being off your knees is too much, stay on your knees and just kick that leg back, but really squeeze that butt cheek. Or just barely, their knees are off. This is really great core work. It's almost like you're in a plank. We're gonna do a total of 20. So we get 10 on each leg. Last one here. Good, all right, bring it to your knees. Straight into donkey kicks. Let's do 15 on the right leg. That foot is flat, trying to touch the ceiling. All right, switch to the left. And I always keep my wrists turned out slightly on the mat. So think about opening up a jar, just that slight little twist out on the mat helps with shoulders. Not hyperextending the back here, just squeezing that glute. Good job. All right, bring it up. You drink if you need to. So those are the moves. All right, so we'll probably just get a few rounds of these and we'll be done with this set. <sighs> Let me just take a little, little breather, get your, your heart rates up, which is good, but you gotta get a little recovery in there so that you can do the next round. All right, 10 jump squats, here we go. Good, push-ups. Squeeze your toes, just 10. Uh, back into the bicep curl. Alternating, 15. Good. 
Hold that core in, elbows are in at your side. No swaying. Almost there. Last one. All right, good. Now we're going into the bear kicks again. 20. Thinking about your core, holding it in. Twenty, good. Right into fifteen donkey kicks on each leg. Here we go. Remember, the butt is the steering wheel of your body. It drives everything: your upper body movement, your lower body movement. Switch legs, 15 on the left, foot to ceiling. Fifteen, good. All right, bring it up, shake it out. Grab a drink. It's like, maybe you guys, you're not dripping with sweat, but your heart is beating and you just got a little shakiness going on. Like you're getting some muscle fatigue, which is good. All right, we should be able to get one more round in here. Let's take a few more seconds to catch our breath, shake it out. And then we'll go into the second block. So, I mean, the time goes fast, you know, when you plug in some moves in there. All right, 10 jump squats. Here we go. Push ups. Remember, roll those shoulder blades down and back. Elbows are tw in towards your sides. You can also do a wide push up here if that feels better. You need your hands out wider. I cannot do that with the shoulder. Just feels better to have it in. Okay, bicep curls, 15. Two, remember we're counting both. This is three. Alternating bicep curls. We should have a full body shake today <laughs> when we're done. Important to get that protein in, replenish those carbs. We are using carbohydrates right now to get through this workout. Let's count again, maybe nine. Two, 
few more. Arms are getting tired. The push ups and the bicep curls together. Woo! All right, one more. Good job. All right, 20 bear kicks. Remember, if you start with your knees off and you got to drop to your knees, that's okay. But try a little bit of the harder ones. Hands are right underneath your shoulders, core is engaged. Twenty, good. All right, right into donkey kicks. Fifteen on each leg. Start with the right. Really squeeze that glute. Right, switch sides. Tearing our muscles down right here, feeding them protein when we're done, then they will grow. That makes faster metabolisms, toned, stronger bones. Wait, I think. One more, I lost count. Again, I can't talk and count at the same time. You hadn't noticed. All right, that was the end of that round. Let's see what our time is. Okay, so we just got about 15 seconds. So get a drink, take a breath, and then we'll start the next round. I'll explain those moves. So I'm gonna demo here. So just keep your, keep catching your breath. Um, so 20 squat jacks, which is down, hop together. Here's our timer. So we'll do 20 squat jacks. We will do 15 hamstring curls. So you have a weight, put it at the back. It's a little weird at first. We've done this a few times. You're gonna grab that weight with your feet and lay on your mat and you're just gonna lower it and bring it all the way up. Squeeze in those glutes. Okay, so that is a hamstring curl. We'll do 15 of those. Then we're gonna flip over and go into 30 flutter kicks. So you can put your hands under your tush, flutter kicks. Then we're gonna bring it up and do 15 reverse lunge pulse. So right here, and then you can hold weights for extra, or you can just do body weight. We'll do 15 pulses on each leg and finish with a sumo squat pulse. So a sumo squat is coming all the way down and up, but we're just gonna do a pulse from the bottom. So you're just gonna keep it low, and I'm gonna hold a kettlebell for a little extra weight. You can hold a 10 pound, a five pound, a 15, a 25, 50, whatever you have. But remember, legs can handle more than what you think. Okay. All right, here we go. Another 13 minute round. 20 squat jacks, let's go. These are some of my favorites to do, I don't know why. those butt and legs and all of it. All right, that's 20, right into the hamstring curl. Setting up is the half the workout here. Squeeze it with your feet. Again, if you're not using a weight, you can really just tighten up the back of your legs and your butt and get tension. Like if you're just starting, that's okay. You can squeeze it. 
15 here. The control, don't fling it up there and then it falls out of your shoe and hits you in the back. So those inner thighs are getting to work out. Holding that squeeze in there. This is a 25 pound, that's the heaviest I have for a dumbbell. So it works. All right, last one. Now, flip it over onto your back. We're going to do 30 flutter kicks. You put your hands underneath your butt if you can't keep your back flat. Just look at your feet. The higher up your feet are, the less impact. So the lower you go, the more core work is involved. So wherever you can challenge yourself, All right, good, that's 30. So now we're gonna go into our reverse lunge, pulse on each leg. So I'm gonna grab my 25s. I'm gonna start on the right leg, take it back, the weight is in that left heel, body is upright, and just pulse, 15 right here. Switch legs when you get to your 15. Good job. Fifteen. All right, sumo squat pulse. You have my kettlebell. You can also take your heaviest dumbbell and hold it, you know, up and down. So toes go out, back is straight, pulse right here. Good job. All right, that was the end of one set. Grab a drink, get your breath. Might have a little shaky leg happening. Okay. Woo! Okay. In five seconds, 20 squat jacks. Ready? Almost feels like you'd fly on these because you don't have any weights after just doing if you're doing a weighted lunge. A little cardio burst here. Remember you can take a low impact and take out the hop and just do right here, just a fast, fast hit down there. All right, 15 hamstring curls. Squeeze those cheeks. <laughs> If you're not feeling this too much, then you just, you want a heavier weight. If you're like, oh, I feel like I could do 40 of these. Well, if you have lightweight or no weight, then do double time. 
Double up your reps. All right, two more. All right, flip it over for flutter kicks. Hands underneath your cheeks. Legs are straight out or wherever you have them. Look at your feet. One for 30. Very good. Reverse lunge, pulse. One leg at a time. So grab your weights if you're using them. There we go. These are much gentler on the knees than a forward lunge. Switch legs, 15. All right, 15 sumo squat pulse. Toes are out, come down low pulse. Good job. Grab a drink. Catch your breath. Whew. Try to get one more round in here. And then we'll be done. Ten more seconds. Just a lot of movement, you know. Just boom, 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 boom. Get your heart rate up. Good. Full body shaking today. All right, 20 squat jacks. Get a little airflow here. It's like a little fan. Ten more, halfway there. Good, hamstring curl, 15. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So again, we are using all the carbohydrates that are stored in our body to get through this workout. So I've had breakfast, I've had a little bit of carbs and some toast but I can tell I'm burning through every bit of that. So I will have my post-workout shake that has some glycogen, uh, glucose in it that will replenish me back to my baseline so that I don't walk around feeling depleted the rest of the you know, next few hours. I wanna feel about 30 minutes after this workout, I wanna feel how I did when I started so that I can go about the rest of my day so it's super important to get that in. If you're doing food, you know, a Greek yogurt, and then have a little bit of like a spoonful of maple syrup or honey. If you don't have some sort of post-workout shake that has some carbohydrates in it, not a ton, but all right, again, I didn't count. That felt like 15. All right, flutter kicks, 30 of them. Hands underneath, lower those feet. Look at your feet. Good. 
Good. Bring it up for the reverse lunge pulse. Whew. Ready? 15, one leg. You might have one leg stronger than the other. One set of 15s feels like, oh yeah, that's a challenge, not bad. And the other set feels like, oh my God, I'm dying at number 10. Normal. We just all have a dominant side. Woo. All right, let's finish with that sumo squat pulse. Those are out. There we go. 15. Job. Grab a drink, catch your breath. All right, we're gonna stretch. We're down to just 15 seconds left, so good timing. So we're gonna end with the same stretch as we started with. So inchworm, walk out on your mat. Walk it back. Maybe you can keep your legs straighter this time because they're warmed up. Just curious to see if this feels different, better, worse, hopefully better. Two more. And last one, we're going to take it down there and hold it. Now bring one foot forward, so our mobility stretch. So my left leg is forward. My left elbow comes down as close as you can get it to your mat. And then lift it up. Look at your hand. Bring that elbow down and up. Switch feet, right foot comes up. Remember, you can drop that back knee if you need to. And one more round, back to the left, five here. Feet. Sometimes just the switching of the feet is mobility work in itself. You gotta work a lot of muscles to get that to happen. <laughs> Last one. Good. All right. Come down on your knees. So my knees are kind of pointed out, and I'm just gonna lean back as far as I can go. Palms on my hands are facing my butt. And just lean back, get a little bit of stretch on the front of the legs, open up the chest. Just go as low as you can. Sometimes you can even, you know, come down your elbow. I can't get down on both elbows, but this darn left knee still has some uh, issues that may never be resolved, but that's okay. Working around it. Nice stretch there. All right, bring it up. Just gonna do a forward fold. Bring it down wherever you can touch. If you touch your shins, bring it to your toes. You just get a nice stretch on the back of your hamstrings. This is our last stretch right here. Always good to do a little bit of light mobility work in the beginning and then have that stretch just helps with muscle recovery and soreness, of course. But your post-workout protein and glycogen restore 
is amazing muscle recovery. Like you'd be surprised that workouts that you do that you think you won't be able to sit on the toilet the next morning, if you properly fuel after a workout, it is 95% better. So there is really an importance to doing that. Those workout shakes, food or shake, whatever you do. Okay, Terry, Lisa, doing the post Christmas workout with me this morning. So I'll uh, up upload it, post it to the group and it'll be there all the time. And I'll catch you later. Thanks for being here. And I'll be back tomorrow for dance. Bye girls.